Today I'm gonna to share with you my AM routine. Essentially a get ready with me from the time that I get up until this, which is when I put on makeup so that I can film. And by the way, you're gonna see the sweater in another video because I'm about to film a video. So for today, I wanted to take you through a realistic morning routine and exactly how I fit in the devices that I use and exactly how I do my skincare. I've simplified it way down for the summer and I only have a very few number of products they're multitaskers. I'm going to put in the description box kind of like clone my routines for various skin types. I'm also going to give you alternatives to the products that I use so that if you don't want to spend the money on the products that I use or you're not interested in the products that I use that you'll have some other options. I'm going to put affordable options and I'm going to put options for other skin types. So be sure to check the description box so that you can kind of if you want to copy my routine Routine. You can do it however you want. You don't need to use the specific stuff that I am using. Kind of just wanted to show you a realistic, you know, day in the life, a morning in the life. And I want to point out that I filmed this not only on my phone, I filmed it on two different cameras in like three different rooms. So the lighting is going to be different. You're going to see a hot mess version of me in my master bathroom where the lighting is awful and I look like I'm probably sick. You're going to see it all today. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and we're going to roll with about five o'clock this morning. Good morning. It is about five o'clock in the morning and I'm up. I am going to head to the gym. This, it's so weird to wake up with what looks like makeup on. I have um, eyelash extensions, but I told you guys that I'm puffy <laughs> in the morning, but I'm going to go have a cup of coffee and then I'm going to go work out and then I'm gonna come back and start my AM kind of skincare get ready routine. Okay, so here's the reality of the situation. I just got home from the gym and the way that I do my morning routine is now, because I'm all sweaty and gross, I'm going to do a microcurrent treatment. This is when I like to do it. I go to the gym pretty much every morning except for Sundays. So I'm gonna use my golden gel from Zip. I'm gonna do a Zip treatment and I'm just really trying to help with lymphatic drainage, kind of help to um, depuff, sort of. Then I'm gonna get in the shower and I will wash my face in the shower. I do wash my face in the morning because of this and after I've done my zip treatment, it's just kind of nice when you've worked out plus you've done a microcurrent treatment with the gel, I like to wash my face. Sometimes though, if you use this gel at night, you don't actually have to remove it. You can use it like a sleeping mask. It's actually really you know, hydrating and moisturizing. So it's really a preference thing if you don't want to rinse off the gel. But I do find that in the daytime before makeup, I usually need to remove it. And you can remove it just with like a warm washcloth or something like that. You don't actually have to wash your face. So that is all just personal preference, how you want to do it. So I'm going to do my zip treatment and then I'm going to hop in the shower, wash my face, and then we will continue on with the skincare routine for the rest of the day. Okay, so I know it's hard to fathom how fantastic I look right now in my cat robe, but I'm going to keep it real <laughs> this morning. Now what I'm gonna do is I always do my droplet. That's the very first thing that I do after I get out of the shower on bare skin. I haven't put anything else on. And all I'm gonna do is a collagen capsule. So if you haven't seen my video on the droplet, I have one breaking down this device. Then I also have a video where I interviewed the creators, founders of this device. And then I also have an in-depth blog all about this device that really gets deep, deep, deep into the specs and the why and the how and all of that stuff. So if you're interested in more details about this, it's all there, including the ingredients that are in the capsules. The main thing about this and the reason why I like it in this really simplified routine is that it has a whole host of great ingredients in this little collagen cocktail and it's going to drive those ingredients into my skin not sit on top but into my skin so it kind of helps me to keep this simple because i have a few multitasking products that do a lot so i don't have to have you know 10 layers in the morning so i'm going to do my droplet treatment and then i will move on with my routine
Okay, so that is the droplet routine. I ran it through twice, so I get six bursts of the collagen capsule. So I just take the capsule out. Usually I will wipe this down. I put this in the little recycle bag that they've prepaid for you to send back, and that's that. That is that part of the routine. This is actually when I will do my hair. I like to just let this sit inside my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna blow dry my hair, I'm gonna get dressed, and then I will come back and I will finish my routine. Just in case anybody questions why I love this stinking brush so much, look at this. Look at this side, and then look at that. You really, really get in there and get a look at that. Yeah. And that, yeah, that's why I love that brush. Okay, so once I finish doing my hair, I just pull it back and this is when I finish doing my skincare. I figured I've given that droplet plenty of time to just do its magic. So the next thing that I'm gonna go in with, and this is a very simple, straightforward routine, you guys, is I'm gonna use my U Beauty resurfacing compound. I've talked about this before. I'm gonna put the ingredients up on the screen, but basically it has everything in it. It has glutathione, superoxide dismutase, it has alpha hydroxy acids it has vitamin c it just has everything in it in a multitasking formula that is just kind of a one and done as far as actives are concerned in the morning it also has a retinoid which is just fine in the morning in case you didn't know just have to make sure that we're very diligent with our sun protection this is like a gel so basically i do i do like three pumps and what i do is i just put it in my hands and literally, and I work it down my neck. And usually, this point, I might still be in my robe versus having gotten dressed. So I would go all the way down my uh, decollete. I always get the back of my hands. I'm trying to really um, fix the back of my hands. They are, you know, they have sunspots and whatnot. It's a gel, so it dries pretty fast. Then I go in with the super hydrator from U Beauty. This is a, what it says, it's a super hydrator. It has five different forms of hyaluronic acid in it. And then it has all kinds of other really great ingredients. It also has the vitamin C in there, the sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which if you're not familiar, that is a vitamin C derivative that is very brightening and it's very stable and it's very non-irritating. So it's kind of cool to see it in this product. The other thing that this product does have is it has shea butter. And that is gonna help to kind of trap those humectants that are in this this product. So when I put it on, I have kind of learned how I like to put it on. I like to put it into my hands. I like to emulsify it because it almost turns into like a serum. Then I put it on. That helps me to avoid pilling between gel and kind of serum moisturizer. So that's what I'm going to do now. And it did take me a little trial and error to figure that out. When I very first got this, I just dotted it on my face and then worked it in. And somewhere between where it goes from a lotion into that serum consistency, it interacted with the gel and at least on my skin and I got a little bit of pilling. When I put it into my hands and I do like three or four pumps, I have dry skin. Then I work it into my hands and I can literally feel when it turns like watery almost. It gets real slippy and then I put it on and then I get no pilling. And I work this obviously also down my neck. If I had on exposed decollete, I would go down my decollete also. Now I am dry skinned and I really, really love to be super duper moisturized and super hydrated. So I actually do follow this up with another moisturizer. I think for a lot of people though, the super hydrator would be enough. You wouldn't need an additional moisturizer. So what that means for me is I'm still using my Dermaquest. So this is a delicate daily moisturizer. I like this one. I also like the nourishing peptide rich and I really, really like the essential moisturizer. So I kind of vacillate between those three. I, I am a moisturizer lover. I also love the Belay. Um, the bio complex that is a fantastic moisturizer also it actually kind of reminds me of the super hydrator a little bit I do think this one is a little bit more hydrating than that one but for me 
that super hydrator is exactly that. It's a hydrator. I feel like putting a moisturizer on it for me is just a great way to ensure that I don't get any trans epidermal water loss, which is, you know, dehydrated skin because those humectants need to be trapped in the skin. So I don't use a ton and I just put it on like this. Nothing, <laughs> nothing super, you know, um, like high tech about the way that I put this stuff on. Now the last thing that I'm gonna do in my skincare routine is I'm just gonna put on my sunscreen and then that's it. That's my entire AM routine. And I don't use any, you know, standalone serums. I'm not using any dedicated vitamin C right now. I'm not using any dedicated pigment inhibitors right now. I am not using a dedicated eye cream right now. I am simply using the droplet because it has that cocktail of ingredients. And then I am using that U Beauty because I feel like they're just great multitaskers, a moisturizer and a sunscreen. And that's where I call it quits as far as my skincare in the morning. Now at night, I will tell you that my nighttime routine is significantly more complex, if you will. And I also cycle different things on different nights and I do all kinds of stuff like that. The only thing that changes in the morning for me ever right now is this moisturizer and my sunscreen. Those two things, I just pull which of my favorites I want that day, depending on how my skin feels but everything else is literally exactly what I do every single day. And I'm foreseeing it to be that for the summer because it's just really, really simple. Clearly I'm talking to you on camera, so it went on for a long time, but frankly, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast to get the skincare part down and my skin is just ready for makeup. Now I'll tell you that the sunscreen that I am going to use, today I'm just gonna use my Evie it's a mousse sunscreen. I've really enjoyed this. I mentioned in a couple videos now that I'm going to do dedicated content to this. This one is a mousse and I just love it. I just put a decent amount on. It looks like a lot more than it actually is because it's a mousse. Okay, so that's it. That is my entire skincare routine. Now I will just give this a little bit of time before I put on any makeup, but since I got eyelash extensions, I actually could just slap on some you know, lip gloss right now and kind of be done. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you know it kind of gave you some insight into an AM routine and how it doesn't have to be incredibly complex. It can actually be pretty simple and still be very, very effective. So I do hope that you enjoyed this super realistic AM routine. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video, possibly in this sweater.